Hello guys, welcome back to Small World of Tanks. Today I'll be talking a little bit about the um, end of year um, tank that you get as a reward. If you've done, I think it's five seasons, you get it for free. And if you do um, four, three or two, you get a little bit money of money off of it. Now, I have actually did get it for a reduced price i did buy it um i haven't actually got round to actually playing it yet so hence why these replays are not related to the tank um i'm afraid i just haven't got around to playing it um to be honest i kind of just wanted to add it to my collection um i've seen the stats i've watched a couple of people play the tank and i know it's not a particularly good tank now it's not a good tank in multiple ways uh let's just talk about the fact that uh it can do pretty much nothing when it's um bottom tier its main cannon uh, has got terrible pen terrible shell velocity uh, you're going to really struggle to pen, even with premium rounds against uh, tier 7s and 8s. Um, and then also the rockets that uh, it's obviously famous for, um, the main reason why people are getting it, um, have even less pen. Uh, so you're really not going to be able to do much against uh, higher tier tanks. Um, what it does do is got... It does have good view range, so I will probably equip it for accuracy and view range to make use of that, uh, especially when you're bottom tier. That's pretty much all you're going to be doing is uh, trying to get assisted uh, damage. Um, now, uh, it's also got terrible camo, camo itself, because obviously you've got those massive uh, rocket tubes on the top, which make it really stand out. Um, I think also, so obviously, like you're going to be seeing a lot of tier seven and eight games anyway, uh, because obviously people play more games in tier seven and eight than they do in the lower tiers, uh, and obviously there's a lot more premium tanks in tier eight. So you're going to be seeing a lot of tier eight tech games and stuff, that kind of thing, and you're not going to be able to do much at all. Um, that being said, uh, you're not going to have the most amazing games when you're top tier either uh, mainly because the rockets aren't missiles they go in the, just the direction they're fired um, so people can dodge out the way quite easily that being said you can have um, it's not very good for new players because um, you can basically one shot tier um uh, you know bottom tier tanks uh lightly armored mediums tds that kind of thing if you're hitting them dead on with those uh uh rockets they're gonna they're gonna uh pen majority of those shots you're gonna kill or at least take the majority of the health of lower te uh, tier tanks out uh now if you're a new player to the game um and you're in a slightly less armored tank uh and you come out uh behind a rock and there's one of these t-34s um with a rocket tubes on it uh and it hits you with all your missiles and you're pretty much dead or pretty much dead you know and you're one shot to the next tank and they take you out pretty much straight away it's not going to be a fun time for you uh you know um and the person playing it's probably not going to have the best time either that's probably the only damage they're going to be doing in that game um you know obviously you can have great games in this thing but again you're going to be doing these good games when you're top tier or mid tier right um and you begin doing it against people who probably haven't got the best experience and even the people with experience they might be just like not fully equipping these tanks properly you're not playing them the best because you they they're just grinding to the next tank and tank and that's all they want to really do not too bother about having the most amazing games bottom tier, bottom tier. um 
so you're not going to be facing the most experienced players that kind of thing and you're just going to be taking them out um and that's not going to be fun for them uh and it's not also not going to be fun for you when you're facing them in your tier fours um and you're a lightly armored tank and you get one shotted um or well what obviously one uh rack of uh rockets <laughs> um and i think this leads to my one of my main gripes about world of tanks in recent months is the introduction of these kind of tanks that can with big guns that can take people out with one hit um i just don't think they're that um good for the game um you know if this was uh war thunder most tanks can be taken out with one shot but this isn't this isn't war thunder this isn't realistic this is kind of an arcadey kind of uh um a game game with tanks right you know you can you can make mistakes you can get hit uh once or twice uh and it's not going to hugely affect your game in most cases uh but you've got the avre you've got the death star you've got the ship barn um you've got the rock crawler is it called um you've got the weasel toe um you've got well missiles in general in cold war that can pretty much take you out or uh put you down to a one or two shot let you know uh, in one hit and it could be no fault of your own you could be playing the game completely correctly uh only to get uh hit by a missile or one of these shells and it takes out majority of your health which isn't so bad when you are um well obviously, obviously it's still bad but it's not so bad when you're playing tier 10 you're playing uh later tiers in cold war because you've got experience you know what you're doing uh you know that kind of thing but when you're playing tier fours and fives and yet getting hit by these guns uh or rockets that take out all your health and you just if you're a new player and you're just like i don't understand what's going on you know that kind of thing uh yes you do have lower tier tanks with derp with derp cannons that's some brilliant driving by me um but they're kind of bad well they're a little bit more balanced i think because obviously they are very difficult to hit um and if you do miss you're going to get punished for that for that uh where this uh t-34 cal Calipi, or was it ever, however you pronounce it? Um, you fire the missiles, uh, you don't hit with them, you can use a secondary gun, uh, and to be honest, the reload on the missiles isn't all that long any either, uh, so it doesn't feel like uh, it's all that well balanced. I mean, it's not well balanced either way, bottom tier or top tier, um, and I just don't think it just doesn't make it a particularly fun tank to use now obviously if if you've bought into the whole thing of okay the thing is obviously most people are going to buy the season passes anyway uh because of the rewards from the season pass but at the same time when you've been like oh um uh, you're gonna get uh, uh this brand new tank uh with missile uh rockets uh, that we've never had in the game before uh, when you do all these season passes and then at the end of it you get this kind of uh, tepid uh, very not impressive tank uh, at the end it's going to be disappointing for a lot of people right um, um, it's just and I get I, I totally get that this tank being a second world war tank is going to be incredible incredibly hard to balance um you know go slightly one way and it'd be totally o op uh and be a basically the weasel toe go obviously tamper with it too much and it becomes totally rubbish and uh, just a gimmicky tank and i kind of think that is kind of what it is um 
but obviously the thing is we don't want it to be getting too much of a buff so that it becomes uh an op tank because we've had loads of those we've got loads of those in the game um and yeah and it's just uh, i don't know what to say about it uh, like i said i haven't used it it looks like a quite a um annoying tank to use it can be like i said if you hit a sal salvo of those rockets on a lightly armored tank you're taking out uh, getting a lot of damage out um but again like i said it's not going to be fun for the person on the receiving end of that um and yeah okay it's fun for you for that one game um but at the same time you're probably going to be going out in different uh different tier fours and fives and sixes um then you do go out in that one so you might you're going to be on the receiving what i'm saying is you're going to be on the receiving end of this thing more than you are going to be actually you know um going out in it and you know getting the occasional derpy uh one shot kill type type thing to have fun in you know um i just don't think it's particularly good for the game uh or for new players i think you know you could make it um tier for tier you could buff it a bit more and uh it'd be a bit more usable if as a tier 10 because obviously you'd be um up against more experienced players um uh and they would expect that kind of um uh issue uh playing tier 10s but um yeah, I just don't don't see um, kind of the point of it, to be honest. Um, and I'm just hoping that they don't bring in more of these tanks into the game. Uh, because there will be, at some point, an OP rocket tank. Um, and uh, I think it will make the game a lot worse and you know what wargaming is if that tank sells well they'll be like right well let's just let's just make some more like it and we'll make some more money anyway that's kind of the end of that to be honest um luckily to get away with that just getting hit in the tracks there actually getting some shots off using the bmp i've actually now officially unlocked the uh, bmp3 and oh man that thing is tr total trash uh unupgraded total stock its gun is hardly pen it's uh shots are very the shells are very slow and derpy um yeah just and it's obviously very slow to accelerate uh total stock it's just c completely a completely useless tank to be honest i'm not getting any hardly any damage out of the thing um i just and fully upgraded i'm having some fairly decent games in the bmt bmp2 um but i think it's at this point in time it's a little bit too little too late for me to really take to the tanks um i haven't really enjoyed the lines um too much um i think you know once i've finished the grinding uh of the bmp3 and you know i'll go out in them for about six months you know i'm not saying i'll go out constantly in the tank but in six months time when i'm go out and occasionally have a game in the bmp2 i fully upgraded and the bmp3 are fully upgraded i might take to them a bit more um but like at the moment i'm just I'm not too keen on the whole line, to be honest. Um, as you can see, I've almost run out of my normal ammunition. Uh, and I've only done 4,700 damage. And those p probably most of that is by missiles. And, of course, because of the s less uh, silver earnings, I am losing a ton of silver in these tanks as well. And... Um, to be honest, those are kind of the only way of using this tank uh, in general is by loading premium. Even with premium, the um, the uh, penetration is pretty terrible. Um, so you're kind of relying on the missiles 
who, you know, I'm not an expert on using missiles, to be fair, so I'm missing probably more shots than I should do with the missiles. Uh, but, you know, I'm not overly keen on the whole missile thing anyway, um, as you know. Uh, we're chasing down this PM BMP-1. Don't know what he's been doing the whole game. Just trying to track... Honestly, I was kind of trying to track him in place here. Um, to missile him. But um, he doesn't fire back. And at the end of the game, we actually get over 6,000 combined. Um, so probably one of the best games I've had in this thing. Uh, as you can see, I've lost 156,000 silver. Um... And that is one of the problems with the uh, cut in silver earnings. As I said, actually unlocked. The f yeah, yeah, I've unlocked the BMP three in that that one game there. So we're out, next game. We're out in the thumper. Really do the, like this tank. Uh, it's not got the best armor, but it does bounce the occasional shot shots, uh, and it's damn quick on the reverse and the forwards. So that's very nice. Um, and the penetration and damage on this thing is pretty awesome as well. Um, we're going to try to get... Yeah, and that guy's just sitting there. Not sure what he's doing. Um, trying to get side shots into these guys here. So help our team on that hill over there. Um, and I know I've got kind of enemies in front of me as well. Um, but obviously they're going to be a little bit more tricky to pen. Because uh, I'll be probably hitting their turret armor and things so might as well just hit the side shots and support our team on this side as you can see we are two tanks in front already this guy is gonna for some reason push into my spot which is fantastic which is nice I'm just kind of clipping his um his side of his tank there so i was trying to get up into this spot again um and I don't know why he's trying to get into that spot anyway. He can't use it. And of course, that, that OP uh, TD there just hit me. I hit him. Bottom bottom plate as well. Didn't pen. Uh, I mean, again, as we speak of OP tanks, that is certainly one of them. Uh, the Thumper is a very decent tank. Uh, very good. Uh, but I wouldn't necessarily call it OP. Um, but... um. Yeah, that tank that just hit us uh, is very OP. Um, as we go forward, we're going to push because our team is winning, but only slightly. And our the enemy team has fallen back. Um, and obviously, we're going to take advantage of that. Now, we, we our team has surrounded that guy there. Uh, <clears throat> that is yeah, just an obscene tank. Hitting this bottom plate. He luckily bounced off me, which is great. We're going to hit him side on the side there. Our team is really struggling to actually pen this guy at all. Finally gets taken out. More than happy to take that guy out. Object 477A. Um, not the catchiest name for a tank, is it? Um, our team is has been winning this game, but... It's only been like one or two tanks ahead the whole game. Um, and we're just trying to get shots across. That didn't go exactly where I was aiming anyway. This guy, again, is going to be... Try to get a side shot in. We hit his track and engine there. Um, and he gets taken out, which is very nice. This guy, unfortunately, is... Uh, no, this guy in front of me is going to sit in front of me. Which is not, not the best just going to take this guy out he's sitting right in front of us um yeah and their team could have pulled this back but for some reason this guy is just sitting in front of me which is nice and that guy there is just sitting there letting us hit him um not sure why he's just sitting there uh he knows we can pen him and he's just gone back into the same position we track him in place and we're getting a nice bit of assistance. We're getting a nice bit of damage ourselves. And this guy again going in front of me. Um, bounced unfortunately because of the angle. Uh, we're just sitting here because we've got plenty of hit points to play with. Might just push out. And we bounce our last shot as well. <coughs> on that guy. 
quite unfortunate. That would have been very nice to get another kill under our belt. Uh, and we managed to land that shot and pen it. I wasn't expecting to, but um, you might as well. If you think you can hit someone, you might as well go for it. Hit his engine, damage his engine, but unfortunately doesn't set him on fire, doesn't make him stop. So, um, yeah. At the end of the game, we get a good... What? Well, seven, seven thousand odd. So, oh, uh, yeah, eight, eight thousand combined, I guess. Anyway, we only got a second class. We only came third in that game because um, people are having amazing games in that thing for a reason. We're unfortunately going out in the Italian TD tier eight, um, and we're fully upgraded. We need a lot of XP to get the next. Uh, next tank in the line uh and obviously i'm at the moment at the moment i'm kind of concentrating on my uh cold war lines um so not really well kind of neglecting this tank um but it's quite a good td uh it's got good armor it's a free short auto loader into clip reload is not particularly useful it's quite quite long um but it's not stupidly long either. Um, but you're not going to be able to catch out many people with multiple shots. Um, obviously, I was thinking this game, oh, I'm not going to have a good game because, you know, bottom tier here. And our first two shots gone nowhere. Uh, using this kind of little hill here, try to protect ourselves. We go for a reload because the reload on this thing isn't that long at all. So like 17 seconds with food in and stuff. I uh, haven't got a particularly good crew on this either. So, um, you know, definitely expecting better things in the future. This, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know which is worse. The Vanguard's a terrible uh, tank and so, so is the um, uh, Centurion AVR. But, um. Glad the AVR uh, took out that Vanguard anyway. So at the moment, we're not actually getting much of anything right here. Because I know there is a a barn around here somewhere, I believe. Do not want to get hit by that thing, that's for sure. And there's a tier 10 medium up here. Um, we've got to be very careful. So we are just taking a back seat right now. At the end of the day, if uh, we just got to make sure if anybody makes a mistake, we'll punish them. Um, but we don't want to be do, doing too... We can't really do much too crazy stuff. We can't really push too much because pretty much all tier 10s are going to be able to pen us. And that is one of the few tanks I might actually be able to do something to. But it's just not giving me a shot at the moment. You can see them some shots coming through across that little gap there we know there's multiple tanks over there um oh yeah we're not really doing much of anything really but um we are pulling back we are winning the game but i'm still reluctant to push here now finally get a hit into that guy um finally got a bit first bit of damage and as you can see into clip reload it's not terrible like i said but it's um Unless someone's like out in the open, you're not gonna get too much um, from it. Um, yeah, so we go for an <laughs> pretty much any time there's not enemies sat in front of us, and we've wasted a shot or two. We're gonna go for a reload because the reload's pretty damn quick. Um, team is enemy team is crumbling. Uh, at this point, I am going right. I'm gonna push. If I get taken out, you know, if I take a hit, then fine. We can we can weather it. Um, we're worried about the ST, STI there getting a side shot into us, but um, we managed to make it up f without taking any damage, which is very nice. Um, uh, Udisk finally gets taken out. This guy's not looking in my direction. Put a nice hit into him. Seeing if we can put another one into him before he disappears. We do. Set him on fire. 
who do take a massive hit from the SDI there, I think. But he manages to put the fire out, so we don't actually get a kill. We put a nice shot into the Turan there. That's all of our damage, and we get 1,700 direct damage and 1,300 assisted. Pretty much all our direct damage is on tier 10s, which is very nice for our XP. Seeing if we can just take this guy out. We bounce on the rear armor of his turret, which, yeah, not very fun. We go for another reload. I'm thinking about putting premium in, but I decide against it because we're probably going to be hitting the side sides of other tanks at this point because they're going to be attacked from multiple directions and there's three uh three tds left well two tds left and there we go there they are i'm f trying to get a sh penning shot into that guy we do it's a tier 10 chinese td it's got light armor could try and he's looking in my direction he misses his shot Trying to get my killing shot onto this guy it would be nice. And we actually do pull it off. So we have just one tank left. Pretty much one. Not going to be able to reload in time, are we? Let's face it. He's probably going to go for us. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, give it a like and subscribe because I'll be bringing you more replays in the not-too-distant future. I've got a couple of mastery replays on the way for you. Uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye, guys.